Hello, how do you solve this exponential problem? Negative 4 to the power of t equals 4. We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, we have our negative 4 as usual. Negative 4 equals negative 1 times 4. So, we are going to replace this negative 1 times 4 right here. We have negative 1 times 4 raised to the power of t, and this equals 4. From here, what we can do is to apply this identity. If you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So applying this identity here, we have negative 1 to the power of t times 4 to the power of t equals 4. So from here, we can easily replace this negative 1 with something else. Let's consider this Euler's identity. If you have e to the power of i times pi, then you have plus 1. This equals 0. So from here, you can have e to the power of i times pi equals negative 1. That means negative 1 here equals e power i times pi. So let's replace it here. We have e power i times pi raised to the power of t times 4 raised to the power of t equals 4. So what we can do will be to multiply this exponent using this other identity. Remember, if you have a to the power of n to the power of m equals a power n times m. So we are going to have e power i times pi times t times 4 power t equals 4. So from here, what we can do is to apply natural log. We have natural log of e power i times pi times t times 4 power t equals natural log of 4. Now, if you have log of a times b, this equals log a plus log b. This is logarithm and this is natural log. We can apply this property right here. So what we are going to have will be natural log of e power i times pi t plus natural log of 4 power t equals natural log of 4. We can apply this other property again if you have log a to the power of b is equals b times log a. We apply this property right here and here. So what we are going to have will be i times pi t times natural log of e plus here we have t times natural log of 4 equals natural log of 4. And from here, natural log of e, this cancel this, we have i times pi t plus t times natural log of 4 equals natural log of 4. So right now, there is t here, there is t here, we can factor that out. We have t times this device t. We have i times pi plus this device t. We have natural log of 4. This equals natural log of 4. Isolating this t, I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 4. I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 4. So this cancel this. Then we have t equals natural log of 4 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 4. 
So this becomes our solution based on this identity that we have used so far. Now let's consider another method of solving this. The same problem again. Negative 4 to the power of t equals 4. So what we are going to do we will be to replace this negative 4 again with minus 1 times 4. So we have minus 1 times 4 raised to the power of t equals 4. So right now what we can do will be to consider this complex identity. Remember, if you have i power 2, this equals negative 1. Because square root of negative 1 equals i. So if you take the squares, this cancel this, that means you are going to have negative 1 equals i power 2. So this is the identity that we are going to use right now. That means instead of having this negative 1 here, we are going to replace it with i power 2. So we are going to have i to the power of 2 times 4 raised to the power of t equals 4. So the next thing we are going to do will be to make use of log. I take the log of i to the power of 2 times 4 raised to the power of t and this equals log 4. Now, don't forget that if you take log a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So that means we are simply going to have this t will come behind this. You are going to have t times log i power 2 times 4 equals log 4. Now, let's apply another property of logarithm if you have log a times b this equals log a plus log b so this is my a this is my b that means i'm simply going to have t times log a that is i power 2 plus log b that is log 4 and this equals log 4 From here, I can isolate this t by dividing this by log i power 2 plus log 4. I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 4. So this cancel this. And what I'm going to have here is simply t equals, this is log 4 divided by log i power 2 plus log 4. Now we cannot leave our answer this way. Remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the 2 here will come behind the log. That means we are simply going to have our t equals log 4 divided by, we have 2 log i plus log 4. We leave it this way. So this becomes our answer making use of log. Compare this to this other one. I think they are obviously the same thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is how you can solve this problem. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and see you again.